Season number two, the full and career mode. Let's go, lads. I'm actually gassed. As a little point of reference, this is what the team is looking like at the start of number two. Season number two. Bench is looking decent, but we have got so many players back from loan spells. So we've got some serious clearing out to do. One of the big talking points at the back end of last season was Elliot Little submitting a transfer request. I don't want to sell him. My goal is when we get a transfer offer for him to see if we can force a loan move for this season. For this season. But let's take a look at the players I actually want to sell this year. Get ready, there's a lot. Chris Smalling had one season, was okay, but became a liability. And I think we, we only needed him to survive in season number one. We survived the Premier League season. We survived the relegation battle. So we're going to look for somebody else this season. Cabano, love him, but we need the money. Congolo, back from loan on the transfer list. Harrison Reed. Now, I want to keep him, but he has submitted a transfer request as well. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make him hang around. Ivan Cavallero transfer listed. Kenny Tete same thing requested a transfer request, and there's just too much money to have him rotting on the benches. Same thing with Rodak. I feel bad for him. We loaned him out last year. Let's see if we can send him on a permanent deal. Ashby Hammond too old and not really growing too much. Now Vinicius, he's decently rated. He's got good market value, but Metro is my number one man. We've got. Plenty of players that can play backup striker. We barely had to use Vinicius last season, so I'd rather get like a little bit more money for him. Sylvester Jasper, we're going to transfer list him. Terry Blade, Elliot Little, you guys know the loan move. Now the players that I have loan listed. Jay Stanisfield, we really want to turn him into a beast. Want to get him another loan move. Kieran Bowie, Ziad Lakashe, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Sydney Raybiga, and then the Swiss attacking midfielder Suka Lager. Suk. Suk second Lurak. Oh my god. And the one to kid himself, Luke Harris. So there's a lot of business that we want to do. The board have given us only 48 million pounds as well. So we're gonna to have to be smart with our money and sell a lot of players if we want to get some big signings to move up the table. Because for me, the goal this season is pushing for European football. Europa League, Conference League, those are my goals. I am not getting caught in the relegation battle again. But lads, if you are excited for season number two and you are new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Mad love to everybody that is showing love to this series. I've been honestly blown away. Friendly reminder, we upload this series every day during the week at 12 p.m. UK time. I'm about to make a move that is either going to make or break our season. Instead of going for a new star center back, I'm actually going to promote from within and I I'm going to convert Jao Polinia to a center back. It only takes two weeks. This dude was absolutely insane for us defensively last season. Won so much football. So I'm interested to see whether he can be a revelation and solve our center back issue. And I've got a lot of players on this shortlist here across multiple positions. So I'm going to scout and see and we'll see what happens really. First move in for the season. It is Harrison Reed, 5.7 mil. I want to go see if I can get 6.3. Going to talk to Bill Bow here. 6.3 is what we want. It's only a little bit of an upgrade, but it is still money that is going to count end of the day. And they are going to accept it. I'm also changing the formation to a 4-3-3 attacking formation. We just didn't really play that well with the four, like three, one, two, whatever it was, four, three, two, one last year. And it may be a little bit longer of a process, but I am going to convert Oz Tian to a central midfielder. Let's see how that works out. Middle update on the youth scouting report. This could be the final one. Oh, this guy looks half decent. Thomas Janssen will promote him. This could be the final one of the scouting report, promoting a bunch of players, Danny De Jong, uh, Janssen, he can come in. All these guys that look half decent can come into the squad. And then is it going to be the last one? It is. So that's our time in Netherlands done and dusted. Let me know in the comment section down below where we should be scouting next. And it looks like none of these guys are insane off the bat, which is a little bit disappointing. I love how I scouted for a center back and we literally didn't get a single center back. If any of the stats of these guys look decent though, let me know where I should be converting them because you guys seem to always know so much better than I where we can convert players. Position-wise, that is. There's a lot of players that are not happy with being transfer listed. Another transfer offer in here for Harrison Reed, but I'm going to reject that one. Kenny Tete, 3.7 mil, but they've put in a half-decent prospect, but I just want the cash. So we're going to talk to them here and see if we can get 9.7 mil just on its own right instead of the player transfer in it as well. 9.7 mil. They're going to throw in another player who I do not want. I do not want these other players. I don't want players that I don't know if they're going to fit our system or not. We'll just say 9.55, but just stop playing with me. Thank
Thank you, Mallorca. Thank you. The Portland Timbers have come in here for Congolo. I don't want, I'm not even going to waste my time on that. I just want a flat out offer to come in, not wasting a negotiation over 1 million pounds. But it is Girona coming in here for Vinicius, 11.2 million pounds. Again, I'm being a tired ass, but I want to see if I can get that extra 700k. Bumping it up, 11.9. Come on, be nice to me. Thank you very much, Michel. And the first man departing Craven Cottage for the season is Harrison Reed. Thank you for your service, Harrison. One of my favorite Fulham players in real life. This dude always puts in a shift. But for now, in the career mode, it is thank you and goodbye. What are they going to rate it? Sending him to Bilbao. Is that technically a Basque transfer? I think it is. They gave us a D. Transfer offer here from the Belgian League for Naiskin's Cabano. 2.25 mil. I will accept that one. Vinicius is officially no longer a Fulham player as well. Adds 11.9 million pounds for the Brazilian. And on the very same day, Kenny Tete is packing his bags as well. Transfer offer for Ashby Hammond. <laughs> I'm not wasting my time. I'm not wasting my time. I'm sorry. There seems to be a trend of player swap deals this season. Perfect loan offer here for Ray Bigger from Burnley. Hopefully he can learn non-Burnley style of play. We'll send him out for one year. Inter Milan have come in here with a Frank, to be honest, a piss poor offer for Jal Polinia. That one is rejected. And the transfer talks for Cabana have broken down. Transfer offer for Rodak, 7.2 million pounds. It says we can get up to 9.6 which I would happily take. See if we can give a new lease on life at Udinese. We're going to bump it up to 9.6 million pounds here for Marek Rodak. And they accept it. This is actually going very smooth so far this season. Loan offer here for the French left back. It's the trip to Poland, potentially. And the loan offer for Sydney Ray Bigger has been accepted. Ivan Cavallero to AFC Bournemouth. I was going to say to be reunited with Scott Parker, but we know what happened there. Regardless, though, I'm going to accept that one. Loan offer for Ziad. You love to see it. And already we have had Jal Polinia's ability. Let's see. Okay. 83 rated. Now's the CDM. He goes up to an 84 as a center back. You love to see it. Let's see if we can get him five star weak foot, five star skills as well. This guy would be a baller in the back line. Sylvester Jasper. It is FC Mets. It is 1.45 and it is accepted. And we are saying goodbye to Ivan Cavallero. He has a short trip down to the south of England ahead of him. I bet we're going to get a D for this transfer. I bet, I bet it's going to be, it's an, it's an F. Ross County, the latest club to join the race for Sylvester Jasper, but I am going to reject that one. Oh, we've got an offer for Metro. That is a criminally low offer for last season's top goal scorer. Not a chance in the world I'm selling Metro. Another year, another loan move though for the young German beast himself, Sidney Rabiger. And it's also a loan move here for Ziad Lakeche. Lakesh? I'm just going to say Lakish. But Sylvester Jasper is off on a permanent transfer. And we went from having 45 million pounds to now 81 million pounds, which is definitely helpful. Let's get into some transfer business. Actually, you know what? I'm going to wait a couple more days for everybody to be fully scouted. Another offer here for Marek Rodak. Did he's, he's moved to Udinese, bro broke down. Leipzig have offered us a player that I don't really want and just 2.5 million pounds. Let's go get Rodrigo out of the offer and go get just some flat out cash. All right, what did we say before? 9.6 mil? Let's go see if we can get make that happen again. 9.6 million pounds for Marek Rodak. They're going to come back. Nah, stop wasting my time. Loan offer for Kieran Bowie. It's FC Utrecht. Let's see if we can send him off. All right, loan agreement here for Kieran Bowie is accepted. All right, so here are the players that we have shortlisted for the center midfield position. And I've been going through them. I've been looking at the asking prices and all this stuff. And the decision I have come to is that we want to go in for Nicolo Rivea. This dude has insane potential. He comes from a big club in Juventus. And we could get him on an absolute cut price deal because he only has 12 months remaining on his contract. So let's go see if we can do that. We can get him for about 22.1 million pounds, which would surely get us an A rating. 22.1. And they accept it straight away. This could be one of the most iconic moments in our time at Fulham. Let's get this deal over the line. He's on 57K a week at Juventus. I'll give him a nice little pay upgrade to bring him to Craven Cottage. This could be monumental. LAFC have offered a Luke Harris a loan move. This could be really fun. LAFC, I... I wouldn't mind seeing Luke Harris play in the MLS as someone that lives in America and loves the MLS. Transfer offer for Terry Blade. I'm not even going to bother negotiating. I'm just going to accept that one. And another offer here, St. Mirren. This one's a little bit closer of a move instead of like China or Korea, wherever that one is. I think he'd rather go to Scotland. All right, transfer offer for Elliot Little. I'm going to go negotiate and see if a loan offer is up 
on the table because I want to get him off the transfer list. So, damn, can I not even propose a new... Tra oh my god, I can't even... I can't... Oh my god. I swear you used to be able to say that you wanted to go for a loan. Maybe I had to delegate? I'm gonna just propose... Like 300, 500 mil, so it's rejected. Benabache have come in here for Marek Rodak. I'm just going to accept that one straight up. And Nicolo Rivea has accepted his contract to become a Fulham player. I am so excited to see how this young Italian prospect can thrive and prosper at Craven Cottage. Come on, give me an A. Give me an A for Rivea. We're going to get, it's not going to say, it's going to be a D. A D. How can I save an extra 5.5? This game is broken in that sense. The loan agreement between Harris and LAFC has been accepted. And Kieran Bowie is off to FC Utrecht for the next 12 months. We're also sending our dearest thanks to Marek Rodak. He is officially out of the club, off to Fenerbahce. Love you, Marek. Adama Traore left Wolves. Yes, I don't have to get terrorized by him again. Damn, I feel like Terry's never going to leave the club. Yeah, look, this one is automatically going to be accepted and uh, not, not accepted, rejected. And it's also going to be blocked. I love Tom Candy way too much. And I'm also rejecting this one here. I love Harry Wilson way too much. I still want to make Luke Harris an absolute career mode beast in this save. We're sending him on another loan move. Hopefully he comes back in the 70s next year. All right, let's see if this works now. So Real Sociedad, 20 million. I love how it's like minor, like 520 million rejected. All right, so if I delegate, can I transfer? No, I can't even. I swear I used to be able to say that I wanted to go for a loan. Damn, does that mean we're never going to be able to? Because I can't even like remove him from the transfer list. Damn. Guys, please let me know in the comment section what I should do. It, like, cause is he, he's never gonna wanna be able to come off the transfer list. I know even when you play players and make them happy, they still never wanna leave. So I'm conflicted as to what we do. Jedi Robinson, Southampton 10.8. I'm not opposed to getting in a new left back this season, but I think I would still wanna keep Robinson around. If anything, I would probably just sign a new left back flat out, which I might honestly do ne next episode or the end of this episode, but right now, Leaving Robinson as the starting number one. Uh, we just keep getting the offers in here for Elliot Little. And there is nothing I can do. I'm just going to keep... Yeah, like, why? Why? Like, I can't go in here and remove him from the transfer list. And I can't... Like, it gives me no option to go, yeah, add him to the loan list. Can I... Yeah, I can't even negotiate a new contract. All right, two transfer offers here. Kevin and Babu. It is Leon. I'm... Again, I'm not... I'm not opposed to getting a new left back and right back in. But I'm going to reject this one for the time being. And we have got one for Ashby Hammond. 720,000 pounds is accepted. All right, gents. It is time. The opening day of the Premier League season. And we are at home. We are at Craven Cottage. And our opening day opponent is going to be... Da, 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 da. It is Southampton on the opening day of the season. We're looking to kick off the Premier League season with three points. Really got to set the tone for a big season. Don't tell me we still, oh my God, they're back. Yes, they're back. The team sheets are back. Is it just like the second half of the season when we don't have the team sheets? Anyways, here's the opening day lineup. I have decided to start Tom Kearney ahead of Rivea, who is on the bench. I'll hopefully start to slowly intertwine him with the side, but that's the opening day side for us. And now for a look at the Southampton starting 11. They've got Alex McCarthy in between the sticks. Coletta Carr in the back line. That's a strong looking back line. Ward Prowse and Goodell. No idea who that is. Ojeda Lafay and Elianusi with uh, Sunset up top. Okay, Southampton doing business. Damn, they've got Kazawa on the bench as well. Oh, damn. Anywho, here we go. Premier League season. Let's get after it. Ward Prowse, we can't let him shoot. He lays it off there. Make the tackle, it's the Dior blocks, but what a save from Leno. I don't know how we didn't make a block there with Dior, but we've made a huge save. Ward Prowse over a free kick is dangerous, man. He's gonna shoot it. Oh my God, he's put that one into the top stand. Pereira, Wilson, go on there and Barbie. That's nice, we've got some numbers. Let's play it in early there. Mitro, Mitro, good block from them. Bloody hell, I should have probably held it up or passed it again. Canny defending. We're fighting the pressure right now. Wilson trying to get in there and defend as well. They go back. They put that ball in there. Win that Polignac. Well won from the new, new center back. Let's go early there, Dimitro. Come on. Can we get something on the counterattack? We have showed absolutely nothing in this game so far. Get it out to Wilson. What am I doing? I am I am so bad defensively right now. I'm having a stinker. Win that, Mbabu. Nah, you've been done there, Mbabu. 
Trying to defend, good stuff. D off, just clear it, Jared. Saved by Leno. We are so rusty. I lined up these substitutions like 30 minutes ago. We finally had an out. Revea and Little coming off the bench with a real opportunity to prove something in this game. All right, throw in here for Southampton. Trying to keep my shape. 90th minute, there's only one minute added time. Oh, just mark your man, please, and Babu. Just win the ball, and then we'll have a point to end the seat, end the game. Don't let him get something here. What a save from Leno to protect a point. Come on, got to defend here, lads. Last kick of the game, surely. Ward Prowse sending that one in there. Reveo heads it away. It comes back to them. Get rid of it. Diop clears. Blow the whistle, referee. There it is. A dramatic end to a pretty piss poor start to the season, if I'm being honest. We've got to figure out what our game plan is because right now, we were playing a terrible brand of football, and that's all on me. Although one thing I've got to say, Joao Polinia is a revelation in the centre-back role. I am very happy with that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven transfers in today's video. What a start to season two. Result aside, what a start. That is going to be the episode done and dusted. I'll see you tomorrow for the same time for the next episode, lads. It's been Jared HD. I'm out. Peace.